Okay, my son. Okay, so this presentation we are going to look at the uh, subject of the formula. So the first example is going to be a uh, joint to two paper two. That is for internal candidates. Okay, so it's saying uh, given that two over y is equal to three x over x minus one. Make x the subject of the formula. Make x the subject of the formula. So they want us to express uh, this expression. They want us to subject this expression to x. Okay. So we have this expression is given by two over y is equal to three x over x minus one. So they want us to make x the subject of the formula. We subject this expression to what? To x. So in our case, the subject of the formula is uh, two over one. This is the subject of the formula. Okay. So let me give an example. If we say, let's say I've been given uh, density is equal to mass over volume. So in this case, density is the subject of the formula. Okay, the one which is on the uh, left hand side is the subject of the formula. Okay? So for us to make, let's say, we're told to say make volume the subject of the formula in this expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to say over one. Then we cross multiply and say density times volume get a density volume is equal to one times mass you get mass. So since we're making volume the subject, you divide both sides by remove this. So we divide both sides by d over d. So these are going to go volume is equal to mass over density. So meaning we've subjected this density is equal to mass over volume to volume, meaning we have made volume the subject of the formula. So in this case, 2 over y is our subject of the formula, but they want us to make x to become the subject of the formula. So what we are going to do is, we are going to cross multiply, we are going to say, we are going to multiply our 2 by x minus 1, this one, then we are going to multiply y, multiply by 3x, okay? So I can move on, I'm saying I'm going to multiply y, this y, you multiply it by 3x, okay? Then I've got equals, then these two, two are going to multiply two by x minus one. So we can multiply now and say, uh, y times 3x, we get 3xy, okay? It's equal to, then you multiply two times x, you get two x, then 2 times negative uh, 1 get negative, negative 2, okay? Now since we are making uh, x the subject of the formula, we need to correct like terms, we group like terms. Meaning, terms with x are supposed to be on our left hand side. So we have 3xy, this one is uh, an x term because it has x. So when it transpose, this one is positive, when it transpose, it's going to become a negative this side. So it is positive 2x. Okay, so it's going to become negative uh, 2x this side is equal to a uh, negative 2. Okay? Then at this level, what we we'll do is since we've uh, grouped the like terms together, so I've got x term, x term. So we're going to factorize now. So what is common in this case? What is our common factor? It's x. X is our common factor. So we're going to say x, then open the brackets. Then you say x into x, it's 1. 1 times 3, y you get. 3 y. Okay, minus x into x is 1. 1 times 2, we get 2 is equal to negative a 2. Okay, then for us to remain with x, we're supposed to get rid of this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 3 y minus 2. Even this side, do the same, say 3 y minus 2. So, these two are going to go. We're going to remain with x is equal to negative 2 over 3y minus 2 as our answer, okay? So we subjected uh, this expression to what? To x. Now let us look at 2022 paper 2 external. So 2022 external is saying, uh, given that mx minus nx over ma is equal to 6, make x the subject of the formula, okay? So I've been given this expression, which is in M, 
x minus n x over m n is equal to 6. And we are told to make x the subject of the formula. So they want us to subject this expression to what? To x. Okay. So in this case, what we are going to do is, first we are going to balance up. So you just say over 1. Then you cross multiply. Meaning, mx minus nx times 1, then 6 multiplied by mn. Okay? So we need to multiply this one. 1 multiplied by mx minus nx. Okay? Is equal to going to multiply 6 multiplied by this, which is m, mn. Okay? So 1 times mx with mx. 1 times negative nx gets negative nx is equal to 6 times mn gets 6mn. Okay? So in this case, since we are making uh, x, the like, uh, x the subject of the formula, we are going to write like terms. But in our case, we realize these two are x terms. Okay? So no need of us write the like terms, right? We have got x, x. So what we do there is just factorize. So factorizing this expression, we need to identify the common factor. What is common? Yes. X is common. So we say X, open brackets, X into X is 1. 1 times M, we get M minus X into X is 1. 1 times N, we get N is equal to 6MN. So for us to mean with X, we need to move this. So we divide both sides by this, which is M minus a. What you do this side, you also do it on the other side, you say a minus a. So this are going to go x is equal to 6 m a over a minus a. So this is our answer. We've subjected this expression to x. In short, we've made x a subject to the formula. Let us look at 2021 20, paper 2. It's saying uh, given, given that m is equal to 4 n over n minus 5. Make n the subject of the formula. So in this case, our subject of the formula is m, right? So they want us to make n the subject of the formula. So step number one, remember, just divide by 1. You say over 1, then you close, multiply. Okay? Meaning you're going to multiply 1. This one, multiplied by 4n. Then this m, m multiplied by n minus 5. So 1 times 4n, you get 4 a is equal to m times n you get m n m times negative 5 you get negative 5 5 m now since we are making n the subject of the formula we are going to write like them so m terms together so we have got 4 n this is positive we transpose we become negative m n is equal to negative 5 with m so having groups the like terms n n you factorize so n is common you're going to factor out n as a common factor so you say n is common nine then open the brackets n into n is one one times four gets oh minus a into n is one 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 times m m is equal to negative five m so for us to make it n remove this so divide both side by four minus m we decide to do the same four minus m so this are going to go a is equal to negative 5 m over 4 minus m as our answer. So we subjected this equation to what? To n.